Have you ever felt that you are miles away from making the serve? You've had a terrible frustrating day. Well this video hopefully is going to make you feel better. I'm bringing you a video by Essential Tennis. They're one of our Tennis Con All-Stars. We're gearing up for Tennis Con 3 which is an awesome event where we have the best coaches on the planet help you get your game to the next level. This year's theme is Breaking Bad. No, not the film Breaking Bad that's coming out soon which I can't wait to see but Breaking Bad bad habits. So today what we're going to show you is a great video from Essential Tennis. They're one of our Tennis Con All-Stars. Make sure that you check out their YouTube channel, their website. It's awesome stuff. And this video is going to show you that even though you think you're so far away from making your serve consistently, you're just a micro adjustment away. Enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end. Great serve, but how did he do it? In this tennis science video, you're going to learn the secret to pinpoint serve accuracy as well as how to develop it so you can place your serves exactly where you want them to go. It all starts with an understanding of what makes the ball go where it goes. And it comes down to three main elements that all work together. The first is the angle of the strings at the moment of impact. The second is the speed of the swing. And the third element is the path of your swing. All three of those things work together, but the single most important element that determines where the ball goes and ultimately your accuracy is the angle of the strings at contact. To illustrate that, we'll have Kevin hit a series of flat serves to different targets while keeping his swing speed and swing path the same. These are all flat serves hit around 75 miles per hour, and on the first one, he hits the back fence on the other side of the court. At contact, you can see the angle of his strings was 109 degrees relative to our anchor point, which is the top of the side fence. Next, Kevin hits the baseline on the other side of the court with the same speed and delivery of serve. This time, the angle of his strings was 105 degrees. The next delivery lands inside the service box at 92 degrees, and his final swing sends the ball into the bottom of the net with an impact angle of 86 degrees. That means the difference in racket face angle between hitting the bottom of the net and missing your serve 18 feet long on the other side of the baseline is only 19 degrees. For every one degree of angle that your racket face is off at contact, you're missing your target by over two feet. Diving another layer deeper reveals some incredible stats. We shot these videos at 240 frames per second, which means each individual frame of movement represents four thousandths of a second in real time. That's just four milliseconds. There are just two frames of movement in Kevin's swing between his racket face being at a 105 degree angle before contact and 86 degrees at contact when he hit the bottom of the net. So the timing difference between hitting the bottom of the net and hitting the baseline on the other side of the court 39 feet away is only eight thousandths of a second. Next time you miss your serve long or in the net by a foot, realize that you were really, really close to nailing your target. Only half a degree of difference in racket face angle, which means a timing adjustment of just four thousandths of a second. This is why nailing an exact spot with your serve is so difficult. That covers depth, but what about width? We'll analyze Kevin's serve from above to find out exactly how big of a difference there is between hitting down the tee versus going out wide. As before, Kevin will be hitting all flat serves and keeping his swing speed constant. This first delivery is a serve hit right down the tee, while the second one is hit out wide past the corner. Analyzing the down the tee serve reveals a racket face angle of 9 degrees when using the baseline as an anchor point. On the other hand, his out wide serve had an impact racket face angle of 28 degrees. That means there's only a 19 degree difference between the two most extreme targets in a service box. In other words, for every degree of angle that your racket face changes right or left at the moment of impact, you're missing your target by roughly 9 inches. Hitting any particular spot in either service box means lining up both the vertical and horizontal alignment of the racket face perfectly, and as you can see, your window for success in both variables is minuscule. So the next time you miss your serve by a foot or two, hopefully this gives you perspective to understand that you are really, really close. Tennis is a game of milliseconds, and playing it at a really high level takes incredible precision. 
And to help you do that, to help you reach your goals on the courts, we've prepared a serve accuracy training program. If you click the first link down below, it'll take you right to it so you can sign up and use it the very next time you go out to the practice court. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, like I told you, that was an outstanding video. That is one of my favorite videos to show the difference between making a serve and missing a serve and how complicated the serve actually is. But then again, it's just a, a simple adjustment away, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. So make sure you check out Essential Tennis and make sure that you're ready for Tennis Con 3. We are having the best coaches on the planet helping you break your bad habits. So we have Essential Tennis, we have Fuzzy Little Balls, we have Time Value Tennis, Jeff Saldenstein, Gigi Fernandez, Rick Macy, uh, we've had Paul Anacone, I think we're gonna have him back again this year. On online Tennis Instruction, the list goes on and on so make sure that you sign up the way you we don't have the, the free tickets ready yet we're gonna give away free tickets for this but the way you can get a free ticket if you're not already on my email list I'm gonna put some free train here on the serve up here in the card section and the description below and if you sign up and get on my email list I'm gonna send you a free ticket in October so that you can experience all this amazing coaching so this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching sign off make sure you check out Essential Tennis and make sure you're ready for tennis Con 3 because it's all about breaking your bad habits this year. I can't wait.